We're here today with John Bresland, the former chairman and CEO of the U.S. Chemical Safety Board. John is attending the Global Congress on Process Safety, which is part of AICHE's spring meeting. John, uh, before you joined the Safety Board, you had a distinguished career with Honeywell and as an environmental consultant. And I believe uh, you came to the United States after being educated in Northern Ireland and England. So we're, we're happy you've joined us, not just here in Houston today, but, but in the US. Uh, you will be speaking later today about the lessons you learned as a member of the board of CSB and then as its chairman and CEO. And I wondered, particularly given the connected audience, if you could share some of those lessons that are particularly important to young engineers just entering the workforce. Well, Steve, thank you for inviting me to speak today. Um, it's, it's really a, a pleasure to be here, and I'm totally impressed by the number of people who are, who are at this, uh, this meeting. I think we have 2,500 yes. attendees. I've been with the Chemical Safety Board for 10, 10 years now. Before that, I, as you say, I did work in industry for many years. And I've, I've certainly enjoyed my experience at the Chemical Safety Board and learned some really important lessons in the area of uh, chemical process safety. And I would say the, the most important lesson that I see is the need for management support for the chemical process safety program in industry. Uh, if you don't get management support, either or, well, both from the very top of the, of the organization and also at the, at the, at the plant level. How can, uh, how can a manager help build that culture in, uh, in a way that will get to, you know, entry-level engineers and uh, others in, in the engineering workforce? Well, you certainly have to lead by example. And you have to, when the young engineers come into the field, they may not have been trained in the areas of chemical process safety. So they need, they need mentoring in, in, in that area. And they need training area so that they develop an expertise in chemical process safety. Your young engineers today are moving into very responsible positions at an early age. And, uh, they're running and operating large chemical plants and oil refineries. They need to know what the safety issues are and, and how to recognize the safety problem before it becomes a, a serious problem. Uh, at the end of the keynote session this morning today, a representative of, of the CSB uh, gave, I guess, some special recognition to AICHE and to the Center for Chemical Process Safety for their work in uh, education around reactivity hazards. And I wondered if you could speak a little about that recognition and about the importance uh, of that education to people as undergraduates and as, as members of the workforce? Well, coming out of an accident that we investigated in Jacksonville, Florida a number of years ago, it was apparent because of the fact that there were four fatalities in this accident, one of whom was a chemical engineer running his own small company. It was apparent that the industry needs to, to uh, and the, the educational system for chemical engineers needs to focus on chemical process safety as well as all of the other factors that go into educating the chemical engineer. And we made that recommendation to AICHE and also to ABET. Uh, that, re that recommendation has been followed up on and we classified it as meeting and actually exceeding our standards for dealing with the recommendation. So we're very pleased with what AICHE, AICHE has done in, in this area. To, I think in the long term this will this will be a major step forward for the educational community, for chemical engineers, and then with resulting improvement for the whole industry. Yeah. They'll come to work better prepared they on will. the safety yeah. aspects. Yeah. Uh, I know CCPS has, you, you mentioned the importance of mentoring, and uh, CCPS has developed some programs uh, to sort of help people hit the ground running, like uh, Process Safety Boot Camp. And AICHE has started some services, such as a mentor center, where people can sign up to uh, indicate 
areas they'd like to meet an experienced engineer, exchange information, uh, things like that. It's, you know, an online uh, uh, relationship. You 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 know make email contact, uh, things like that. So uh, let's hope that those things can help improve the uh, the workforce safety uh, culture. It's interesting that you mentioned process safety boot camp because that, that applies to young engineers coming into the field. But I've, I've also realized that it applies to smaller chemical companies that don't have the expertise. They may not have the, the chemical engineers on their staff who have an expertise in chemical process safety. And I think there is a market for this for the process safety boot camp in that area of smaller com companies that don't have expertise and they can send their people and learn the, the techniques of chemical process safety. So any uh, last words you'd like to offer the connected audience about uh, the conference itself or, or uh, parting words of wisdom? The conference is a great place for, for meeting people. Uh, this last, year, uh, last week I was at the American Chemical Society conference in San Diego. 18,000 people. 18,000 is a little too many to get to know. This is a much more compact conference and it's great to sort of walk around and just meet people that you've worked with over the years, both in, well I've been in government and both, and then before that. It's a, it's, it's a terrific conference and I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah, I think it's a size that really facilitates networking. So. Yeah, it does. Okay, well thank you so much for joining us and uh, look forward to catching your talk later. Okay, thank you. Thank you.